I'm going to show you now how you do a, a complete strip down of the centre console off a of Land Rover Discovery 4. If you ever wanted to change the gear selector or the handbrake switch or the this control box up here, I'll show you now how you get it all apart. So we turn her over and you'll see you've got loads of tiny little screws everywhere. All them screws will have to come out. So I'm going to start off by taking these side, these side trims off on both sides. Pretty straightforward, just get your screwdriver. You start taking them off so on this side you'll have one two three four so four on this side and it'll be the same the other side so that's all the screws removed from the sides you can see the little screws tiny little things so these trimmed now should just pop off Pretty easy. So I'll put them to a side and then that one should be the same. Yep, so that's them two bits off. So the next job is to take this wiring loom out. Get that out of the way. So just un unplug them from unplug this bit from the gear selector so it's one of them red red things you pull up and then you clip them off it looks like i need two hands oh no i don't so i'll pull that up and then pinch that lever and pull it out so that's that one and we've got one here connected up to the handbrake that's just a case of pinching that one pull in easy and they're all clipped in the, in the plastic, so they need pulling out. And the top end, you've got the cigarette lighters there, you've got one on each side. They just need pulling out. And then you've got this green one here that needs pulling out. So it's just a case of pushing that lever in and pulling it out. Let's do this. I need two hands. Now that's all the cables pulled out. All I need to do now is pull the cables away from the plastic housing. And this one here is going to come out. It's a case of pulling that bit of plastic up. in them holes there they were so that's come away easy so next job will be pretty much removing any screw you see so we've got two this end we've got that one there that one there a few up here as well going around so um, yeah, I'll start removing them and I'll be back. I've got the four screws out surrounding this panel. One, two, three, four. And then that bit the side is fat out. So that bit is now off. And if you wanted to actually get this panel out from its surround, it's literally just four screws again. One, two three four moving on to the gear selector now we have oh actually no i'm going to get out get off this plastic trim first it's going around that bit comes off first and then you'll have access to the screws that hold gear selector
Now that's M4 screws removed. That panel should be free to come away. Yep. And if you wanted to get the silver piece off, I'm just, yep, they've got one, two, three, four, four screws. So, yep, that's that bit off as well. Now moving on to, let's get this gear selector out, I think. Any screws? So I think it's this side, you want to turn it back over to its front. And then you've got four black screws. One, two, three, four. So we get them out. Yeah, so these screws are different to the others. I think they're longer as well, so you won't get them mixed up. Yeah, see the difference. Yeah, no good at holding a bloody camera and doing this. Now I've got all four screws out, this gear selector should come out. Yep, so if you ever wanted to replace that, that's how you get that out. I don't want to drop that, because I don't want to replace that, that's fine. <laughs> So moving on to the gear, um, the, uh, handbrake, get a bit of plastic out, they just pull out, so this, got another screw there at the bottom for the handbrake. As soon as you get that screw out, just flip her over it. You've got a black little tag there that's going to be pulled up and then it's going to be pushed in in that way so it, so it comes sort of out like this so as soon as you pull that tab up you can then bring him out like that so that tap bit there locks in into there I assume so yeah that's that bit out so I think that might be it yeah that's it now that's all stripped down and cleaned up this can all go back together so it's straightforward just do what you did in reverse basically starting off with what the handbrake or you can put the gear selector in so yep yeah. now let's put it all back together when you do start putting it back together remember where your handbrake switch goes which on this side it goes on your right because um, that side, it could go in that side, but I think that would be for the left-hand side cars, I'm assuming. So, yeah, this one come off the right-hand side. So, that's just a case of putting that in there. And then pushing it back. And you do click. And that's clicked in there. So, that's that one. So now, I suppose you need two hands for this. It's going to go one way because you've got a little hole on the top there that, that that thing sits in. So that's now the gear selector in. Then next job would be to put these plastic rubber bits in first because this trim sits over top, it sits over the lip of here, so you won't be able to get it in. So, put them in first. Yep. 
and then you put this piece in see what i mean it sort of sits sits over the top so that's lined up you can turn it over and screw it from the back and that's the last one so that trim is now secured on and it coming off so now the next job would be this control panel which again only goes one way got the flat edge along the bottom see the top edge is sort of curved the flat edge goes on the bottom and then them them holes there these little lugs go into Another one I need to screw. So we've got all them four screws back in. So now moving on to the wiring loom would be last. Moving on to these trims. I'll figure out which way they go. So that's the other side. That's that side. So again, you've got like a piece there that goes into that square. So. Another one there as well. So they go in there so you get it lined up right. It's a case of clipping it all back in and screwing it back together. That's all them screws back in. Side trims, turn her over, have a look. Not bad, not bad. So, last job is a wire loom. Just in case, turn it back over. So, as we from before that red clip goes into the gear selector push that down in and then the red plastic bit back down with it you can hear it click and this little green one goes into the handbrake easy then you've got these little lugs here one goes in there that one goes in there one's broke off there um, and you got one more there so now this piece got them docking bits there you go Into there and push that down. Get the cigarette lighter just in case of pushing them in. You can hear it click. Same with this side. Hear it click. And then there sit in them docking stations. And then this last one, green one, goes back into that control panel. Sure that clips in. Yep, that's clipped in. Hmm, so I think what's that job done? So that's how you get it back together. Now that's all cleaned up and back together. She's ready to go back in the truck. Only took five minutes to put all back together. Just like I said, just a load of tiny little screws everywhere. A little bit fiddly because they're tiny. But apart from that, it's, it's straightforward work. You can't go wrong, really. 
So I hope that's helped you guys. If you ever wanted to change the gear selector or handbrake switch, because you know they, they do go wrong. So yeah, hope this is out. Let's get it back in the truck.